fishing, eh, Aaron? We are. We are arriving right now. Here's the launch. Discovery pass required. For those of you, Deer Lake. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Carey. And I'm Aaron Borg. You're watching Northwest Fishing Reports. We're here at Deer Lake. We're gonna go after Lakers and Rainbow today. So let's go, go fishing. fishing. We're already marking fish off the bottom and those have gotta be lake trout. Some nice marks. We're gonna use some traditional Lake Chelan techniques. We've got a hoochie with a large max spin, spinner smile blade. I'm gonna put some bait on those hooks and we're gonna fish right off the bottom, five to 10 feet off the bottom with our downriggers. And then we're gonna run one large minnow type lure. We're gonna run that suspended about 40 feet or so because we saw some large marks there as well that should cover the water column We'll probably put one line out about 10, 15 feet for some rainbow trout and uh, see if we can get these fish to bite. There's another mark on the fish finder. Oh, I'm excited. Let's get some fish. The only things missing this morning is some hot coffee. What do you got there, Mike? First fish of the day. It's not a laker, though. It's uh, probably a rainbow. Not bad. Ah! Oh, hopped off at the boat. All right, but uh, that was a bit of a dry spell, but there we go. We got it on a Kikita fly with a little herring strip. So we're going to bring this back down and try to get some more. Got a fish on. There we go. Ooh, it's pulling the drag a little bit. Nice. Might just be set a little too loose. What a nice kind of lazy easy day, but there's a yeah. fish. Oh, he's a beauty. Come here, you. Oh, that's a lake. Is that a lake? No, that's mm -hmm. a nice rainbow. That's a beautiful trout. Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, wow. yeah. This lake yeah. has some nice fish in it. Got that on that pink Kikita again. Yep. It's two in a row for that rod on this fly. That's a beauty. So this is your uh, home lake, isn't it? It is. I love this lake. This is uh, a little bit bigger than the average, um, but they come a lot bigger. So yeah, yeah. We, st we still haven't found one of those lake trout. We'll get one. Working on that. We'll get one. Yeah, they have to be hungry. There we go. Found that same rod. Fish on. Nice rainbow. Oh, 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 he's still on. Oh my goodness. Boy, he took a run. Well, he's not an Aaron rainbow, but... You know what? You need a longer handle on your bed. <laughs> hey, there we go. There we go. So getting some fish finally here out on Deer Lake. Not the Lakers we had hoped for, but you know, you take what the lake gives you. And another one on. Nice. Seems to be warming up a little bit. Come here. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Oh, don't do that. Don't in the net. Don't in the net. 
Get in the line. Oh, nice. Aaron, right. you're on you're on a roll today. On fire. On fire. There we go. That Kakita is on fire as well. Every fish on a Seps Chrome Dodger and this uh, Kakita. I'm not sure which one this is, but it is the one that is on fire. It's pink. It is pink, and they like it. We've got all of our uh, waypoints set up on this point uh, where the fish are at at about 30 feet and uh, that's traditionally in this area on both sides of this point and on the point where we've found trout. Um, it's kind of a go-to of mine. Um, in years past I've been able to come up here and just kind of going back and forth between these two bays just lock a limit up straight away. So seems to be holding true still so we're killing them Aaron I think that's a limit huh? I believe it is come on let's count Aaron and Kakita are on fire yep we're pulling in the gear and Deer Lake gave us a last minute present one more for the road nice fish out here Aaron, that was a, a fun day of fishing. It was. We uh, didn't get limits. We got a limit. A limited trout, which isn't what we were going for, but you know, you win some, you lose some. That's we, right. We marked the max all day. Yes. They were down there, but they, they're just not in the mood for biting today. They were not biting. So thank you for taking me out here on Deer Lake. You're welcome. You know what goes good with casting? What's that? Blasting. Ah, blasting, yes. Yes. So we got a surprise for you guys. Stay tuned after the break. More to come. Arctic Fox is a trusted brand that belongs in every angler's tackle box. In recent Northwest Fishing Reports field test, Kokanee loved the all-new Arctic Fox Kokanee Microflies. Ask your retailer today for Arctic Fox Trolling Flies or visit trollingflies.com to order today. Trust Arctic Fox Trolling Flies to get you on the fish. We do. Nice to meet you, Mike. Aaron Board. Aaron, how are you? I'm you guys ready to go morning. shoot some roosters? Absolutely. Oh, man, Maybe find excited. a few Hungarian partridge too? Yeah. Real that'll, good. That'll work for us. Fantastic. Let's go get them. All right. Good morning, Dave Mason. Good morning, Dave. Joe Biggs. Nice to meet Glad you. Glad to be here. Yeah, we're going to have a great morning. Oh, yeah. All right, fellas. Oh. Rough's ready to go. Let's go get some birds. Let's do it. Good boy. Okay, whoa, whoa. I always make my dogs stand before they get out and go in the field. They get a feel for things. Yep, here, come here, here, here. Yeah, I just kind of get control on them too. Here, here, good boy. Let's have one guy go on the far side of this, okay. and the other guy stay with me on this side, and we'll have Ruff running up through the middle. Hey, buddy, bird in here. Fine. There you go, bud. Whoa. Okay, move right on up ahead of the dog. Whoa. I'll catch him if he swings around this way, Aaron. Whoa. I'll let you go do the deal. You've got the dog. Whoa. Good boy. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Take him, whoa, Ruff. Take him. Come around, Ruff. Come around. Here. Hey, we got a runner in here somewhere. Yep. He's on another bird. Find him. Here's 
here we go. We got something in here. Oh, it's a hind. Whoa. Looks like me. A couple of hinds. Whoa. Whoa, rough. Whoa. Whoa. You can shoot these if they get out on us. Whoa. Take him, whoa. Yeah. Nice. Here, come on, here. Come on, here. It just takes it to whoever. He's on lock solid point again, fellas. Whoa. I can, I can Whoa. see it. It's right there. Where is it? Right in front of you, about three feet. Whoa. I hear it. Whoa. Whoa. Take him. Come around, Ruff. Okay, let's go get that bird. Where is he? Get him. Where'd he go? Find him. Find him. Whoa. Oh! Mike, <laughs> let him get out a little further, buddy. Hey, watch this. Take him. Oh, Take him, let's Mike. Go. Mike, get him. Mike. Oh, get him, bro. Did you hit him? I must have. You did. That's amazing. <laughs> Good shot! Nice. <laughs> he didn't go down, I'm like, what the? Do we have bullets in the guns? <laughs> well, not at the moment. Let's hope so, because he's smelling another bird. Better load up. What do you mean, not at the moment? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, the boy. What's up, Mike? Back him up, Ruffer. They yeah. knew there was one yeah, in here. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like a say. He is definitely having trouble pinning them down. Joe, this is a... Um, Hungarian partridge. Hungarian partridge. And they're pretty native to this area. Um, they like this grassier cover uh, as opposed to the real thick, thick, dense cover. Yeah. Um, that's where you find them most of the time. Fast flying bird. They're generally a covey bird where you find one, you'll find three or four. Mm-hmm. And he was laying thick in that cover. Yes, he was. He held pretty good. Baron, what do you think of your first pheasant hunt? It's exciting. It's fun. It's great. It's close to town, and this is great. Oh, here's one. Oh. Walker. <laughs> A walker. Get right ready. In the middle, Aaron. Get ready. I'll back out of the way. I thought. Whoa, whoa. Good there you shot. go. Nice, nice shot. Nice job! Woo! That's fun. Get him, Ruff. Get him. That's great. That is fun. Got him on the third shot. Good I job. did. Get him, Ruff. Fetch him up. Good boy. Here. Here, here, Ruff. Here, yeah. here. here. The right dog's here. like, drop, drop. but you it. didn't shoot him. He's not even hit very hard. I'm not bringing you the bird. Big mistake most, or a lot of upland hunters make is they'll hunt one area, go through it once, think they've gotten the birds, and just go on their way. When I'm hunting ditches, draws, I always hunt them up and back. Oh, he ran back here. Runner. Nice. Yeah. That shows you right there what they're doing. They're running like crazy. That's a beautiful bird there. That's probably a wild bird from the look of it too. Here, 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 here drop. Let me see. If we had a little moisture, it'd be a lot different story today. 120 days with no rain. Very dry grass, very difficult for the dogs to smell. But at least we've got a little wind working in our favor. What is it about the rain that makes well, it easier for them? the rain will knock the dust off all the brush. It'll help knock the cheat grass down. And the scent will hold a lot better in the grass than it does now. He comes across. Here he comes. Sorry. Here, here. Right here, 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 here. Thank you. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Where's that bird calling from? Oh, right there. Okay, mark that bird because he didn't see him go down. I got that on the third shot, didn't I? Yeah. Nice. nice long shot. One? Yeah. You can hear another one right in here. Right up in here. Oh, is he ahead of us? Yeah, I think he's ahead of us. Really? Those are fun to I shoot, boy. Yeah, you. There, there is a higher degree of challenge. Yeah. Sure. Bird buddy, fine. Bird in here. Here. Where is he? Yeah. 
There he is. Go ahead. So bird was a little low. Guide was right in the way with his dog. Yep. So so we let that one go. There'll be more. You guys can see how awesome this is. Double barrel ranch, 25 miles bird southeast him, of Spokane. Bird in here. Just an incredible morning of hunting. Yeah, I can't say I've heard. They gotta have water. Here, come on. Come on. Good buddy. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Oh, I'm out. He got him. Good boy. Good boy, Robert. Good man. Good man. Thank you. Good boy. Well, that's too bad. We didn't have shells. I know. I could have had that double. Yes, you could have had it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you did a great job on that one. Get him, Rupper! Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Here, here, here! Here, here, here! Here, here, here! Come, right here! Right here! Thank you! Thank you! Good boy! Good boy! Joe, this has just been a phenomenal morning of oh, yeah. hunting. We can't thank you enough for taking us out. Oh, well, thanks for coming. I had a great time. Anytime I can run my dog and get some birds, I'm a happy man. Yep. Just 25 miles away from Spokane, easy little drive. Go fishing one day, go hunting the next here at Double Barrel Ranch. Partridge, pheasants, pheasants. turkeys, yep. some chuckers. Now people can bring their own dogs. Absolutely, in fact, I, I'd say about 50% of our business is people that come out and hunt with their own dogs. And more and more every year we get people that are normally south and North Dakota hunters that don't want to travel that far and mm -hmm. they come and experience the place here and come back and keep coming back so yeah if nothing else what a treat to be able to go out for one day and just oh, yeah. have all the pheasants you could ask for to be shooting at so abundant they were abundant is the word so Joe thanks again oh you're welcome yes. thank you fellas thank you. I really appreciate having you out all of you it was a great time love to have you out again for sure. Thank we'll you, Ruff. We'll see you guys on the water and out in the field. Yeah. Good boy, Ruffer. <laughs> <laughs>